everyone, I'm Molly here with Rose City RV of Michigan, and today we're going to take a look at this Rockwood Geo Pro 19 FBS. Is this the correct model for you, you may ask? Here are five key specifications to help you decide. This model sleeps up to three people, has a weight of 3,487 pounds, has an overall length of 20 feet 2 inches, and a height of 9 feet 11 inches, and features one slide out. So let's take a look inside. As you can see, this model features a front full-size bed um, with a TV located here. Our sofa dinette slide that I mentioned earlier is right here with this adjustable table, which we've showed you in a few other videos. This can be swiveled and turned, removed, moved up and down, um, so it's got a lot of features on it. Um, but looking at the front of this coach, you'll see you have three big windows here. These are going to be frameless windows. The front one you cannot open. Um, the side one has an emergency exit window so you can get cross breeze air from there. Underneath of our bed we have a 110 outlet located here so you can plug in here next to the bed. Uh, we have our furnace duct located there. That's where our, our furnace is going to be. And then our um, nice big storage drawer here is going to be nice and deep and that allows you to see also behind there if you do need to get access behind there you can remove that drawer next to that drawer we have our world friendship um, inverter controller so that's just the remote page that's just going to show you basically what your inverter is doing when you're using it if you're using it when you're off grid below that we have a furnace duct remember i said the furnace is in here so the heat's going to come out of there which is nice and then underneath of our TV, we have an extra large storage area here. Then we have, like I mentioned, a 12 volt TV. This has JBL speakers, which is nice. This has, um, a, is obviously a smart TV as well as being 12 volt and it has a built in radio. So that's a nice feature. You can play that in or outside. So no more external radio. And then we have a oven here, as you can see, with a three burner cooktop. This nice knife rack here that Rockwood does in pretty much all their models. Up top we have our Magic Chef uh, range hood, which got a light and a fan located here. And then we have a puck system light here with, um, right over top of the sink here, a single basin sink with this nice black fixture. Um, simple, does the job well. You can get underneath of there with large pots and pans to wash your dishes. A little flip down here for dish, uh, dish soap or whatever you want to put there. Two nice big drawers as well. And some people may ask why it's short. Um, it's got to fit around the plumbing and stuff inside. So that's their way of still giving you a nice size drawer. And then under there they give you what little access that you have. You can still use it. Okay, so looking at this, we refer to this as the monitor panel. This is by WeRV. Rockwood's using this on all of their floor plans that I know of. Um, this is a motion censored, so when you walk by, it's already lit up, but it will light up. Um, anything illuminated in blue is going to be on. Anything in the white is going to be off, okay? So we have a main fridge control here, our water heater function on gas, our water heater function on electric, our water pump and our tank heaters. Those are 12 volt tank heaters on the um, tanks underneath, our awning function, and then our slide out function as well. Up top we have our tank levels. So you have our freshwater tank, our black tank, and our gray tank, along with our um, battery as well. So if you're off-grid camping, you can kind of keep an eye on that. And we also have our solar controller, which is over here. Um, we don't have a battery hooked up, so it's kind of give us a little goofy reading right now, but um, this is what controls the voltage going to the battery. So this is going to take your solar because this is equipped with solar. It's going to convert that down to the 12 volts that it needs to keep your battery charged. Um, that solar can come in around 20 volts. Um, and if you don't have a controller, that's just going to fry your battery. So you always want to make sure that you have this. Um, when everything's hooked up, this will also give you voltage readings, amperage readings, so you know exactly what's happening with that. And then our Coleman new thermostat right here. This is a nice feature. This is a new thermostat, so very simple. 
um, you're gonna just click this this middle it's gonna illuminate you click again and it'll allow you to cycle through which function you want right there LP and CO2 leak detector is located right there next to that is our 12 volt converter that's where all of our fuses and our breakers will be located and then up on the fridge we have this nice little travel lock and we have a decent sized fridge. These geos used to come with a small gas electric, so this is definitely a, a benefit to that with a full size freezer. Up top we have our microwave. Works like a regular microwave, nothing really special there. Moving into the bathroom. This is a fairly large bathroom for a small trailer. You have one thing that Rockwood always does that I've always noticed that really nobody else does. They always position the toilet at the right angle. So if you're looking at that, the toilet's not straight with the wall where your knees would hit the wall. They angle it so you can actually sit in there, especially if you're a larger person. Now, in the bathroom, we have our max fan. As you can see there, those move a ton of air. If you're familiar with that, you'll be happy to have that. If you're not familiar with that, um, and you off-grid camp, that's definitely something you might want to consider. Those things move a lot of air. And then we have our corner shower here, which has got a uh, magnet on the um, curtain. So in the closed position, you can stick it just like that, and you can hear the magnet. And then in the open position. Now, one thing I wanted to show you in here is our shower miser. Um, I think we've gone over that in a couple units, but... There's a short little description here. You've got um, use mode, which is coming out of the head. You've got off, and you've got what we call recycle mode. Now, I'm not gonna get into that in this video, um, but if you somewhat have an understanding, that's gonna recycle the water so you're not wasting your fresh water or your gray water space. So um, if you're interested in that, we'll provide a link to a different video for that. Then we have some storage up here and our GFI outlet is located here. A little light switch here as well, and a towel bar with the medicine cabinet. So, let's move outside to see what our outside features are. So, we'll start right here back at the rear section. As you can see, our awning arm is located right here, so that's not gonna be in the way of the entry door at all, which is a plus. Um, we have our solid steps here. Um, so those are a nice feature. Those have been out a little while. People are now familiar with those. They take away the bounce that the old, tr the old uh, traditional RV steps had that when you pulled them out, you stepped on and bounced the trailer up and down. Now these are on the floor. They're extra stable. They're just a lot better. Door catch located here. So you can keep that entry door open. Even though they have the stiff hinge, Rockwood has gone back to giving you the catch, which we like. And then we have our 110 outlet here um, for outside accessories, whatever you might want to plug in there. We have the grill rail or the table rail that they provide you with. Rockwood provides you with the Suburban cooktop um, with a Lodge brand uh, kettle top. And I'll tell you, after using one of those, I also have a Blackstone, and they are by far better quality than the Blackstone. Um, and I never thought I would say that, but Suburban is a really good, reputable brand um, in the RV business, and Lodge Cast Iron has been around forever. They do a nice job, so I will say th those are really nice products. Um, and that has our LP Quick Disconnect located right under here, which is where you would um, plug in that flat top griddle to uh, get your propane and then we have our spare tire located under here um, comes with a crank handle to lower that down in the event that you'd need it next to that we have our sewer holes sewer hose holder um, these geo pros have no rear bumper so no place to put your sewer hose so they provide you with that which is nice and then our low point drains are also located under here. You can see the sticker. You got to kind of get underneath of there to see it. Our furnace exhaust is located here. So remember, don't put anything in front of that. Um, you don't want to um, catch anything on fire and it does get extremely hot. They do put a caution sign there. We have our um, new stabilizer jacks there. Um, and those are manual, but they are much more stable. So looking through here, you'll see this is their pass-through storage that goes underneath of the bed. We have our table here that I mentioned goes up on that grill rail. We've got our griddle top in there. 
and just some accessories um, for the coach, power cord and stuff we have stored out here. And then uh, both your crank jacks. One thing that Rockwood does, and I'll show you on the other side, is puts magnets in their storage compartments. Um, it seems like such a, a dumb little thing, but I'll tell you, it is so handy and it's such a clean application. It keeps things up and away and, and out of your way and so you don't lose them. So the event that you need it, you know right where to look. Moving on to the front, we have our power tongue jack located here. That's gonna have a little light on it there, up and down, and then our manual override. So again, if you need um, to manually override that, one of those jacks on those magnets, just take this plug off, pop it in there, and you can manually override. Underneath of here, we have our two 20-pound propane tanks. So you got plenty of propane there. And then we have a dual battery case located here that will fit two Group 24 size batteries in there. And then up underneath of here, we have our battery disconnect, which is located right there. All the Rockwoods that I've ever seen always tuck those up underneath of there, underneath of the propane. Um, so if you're looking all over for that, look there. They kind of keep it hidden for a reason. Keeps it out of the weather. And then on the other side here, This is the other side of our pass through here. So as you can see, this is where our, our jack handles are magnetized up there. And then, like I said, we just have some other accessories in there. Next to that, we have our freshwater fill. So if you want to camp um, where you have no water hookup, that's where you're gonna fill the onboard tank. So you just pop that cap off, put the hose in there and fill it up. Underneath of here, we have our city water connection. So if you're camping where you do have water hookup, you can hook straight up to there and it'll use the pressure off the hose. We have our antifreeze inlet. So that's gonna be for winterization. Um, we'll get into that in a different video to show you how to winterize a rockwood. They pretty much provide this on all their units, kind of keeps the mess outside. And then we have a water heater here, gas electric water heater here. This is gonna be both gas and electric and those switches are going to be on the monitor panel. Okay, so underneath of here we have our large freshwater drain. That's what that white valve is. Um, so that will allow you to drain that fresh water extremely fast comparative to the old half inch cap that you just took off and let it drain the whole way home and it took the whole way home to drain. So that's nice. And then on the back of the coach, we have our outdoor shower. That's gonna give you hot and cold. That gives you a, a quick disconnect spray port there. Then we have our black tank flush. This is a really nice feature. It allows you to spray at a high pressure rate inside that black tank to help agitate and work up any debris that might be in there for dumping. Then underneath of here, we have our gate valves, the gray handle being the gray water, um, which is gonna be like your sink and your shower. And then the big three inch with the black handle is gonna be for the toilet. And you'll drain both of those here at the dump station when you're done camping. And then moving on to the back, we have our two inch receiver. That's actually tied to the frame, so you can feel comfortable putting bikes and stuff back here without bending any bumpers or anything. That's a nice feature. And then we have our ladder located there so you can have easy access up onto the roof. And that's going to conclude our 19 FBS video. Um, please like and subscribe for more content and let us know if you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them.